Hey internet, Captain Erica here. Uh, I was in my backyard and before I mow the lawn, I thought it might be a good idea to uh, eat some wild edibles. We've got a ton of different wild edibles in our backyard, uh, which is super cool. And I haven't fertilized or, you know, like sprayed or anything for the whole time we've lived here, which has like been about a year. So anyway, I'm gonna show you guys um, what we have in the backyard and then I'll eat it raw. We'll boil some and then we'll saute some. So it'll be kind of like a, backyard cooking video so I'm shooting this on my phone right now um but so I hope it comes out but let's just go ahead and get started <laughs> all right so this is the book that I'm using for reference for the most part I also have um some other books that I'll link in the description below but this one has really good like harvesting tips and stuff and good pictures so I like this one a lot I've used it before on this channel um but anyway just so you guys know so we got a dandelion plant plant here uh, as you know, pretty much every part of the dandelion is edible. Um, for this particular video, we're just going to use the leaves. I've got a bunch of plants all over the yard, so I'm just going to snip off a bunch of the leaves like this and um, try not to get the ones that are too close to the ground or that are all dirty, just so you don't have to clean them as much. So when you harvest them, you keep all the ends close to each other because they leak that milky sap stuff and it actually can stain things so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and clip a whole bunch like this and get a big pile and then I'm gonna store them in some water so that they stay fresh so we got some dandelion greens chilling in the water I'm gonna do this with all the things we harvest but I just wanted to show you uh, what I was doing with them okay so this is cat's ear so I'm gonna harvest a bunch of the cat's ear it's a lot like dandelion except it's fuzzy and it even has a yellow flower like dandelion, um, but it is different. And so this is nipplewort. Uh, this is very prolific in our yard. These are some of the bigger plants we have, but it is just like growing everywhere. All these little like leaves and stuff, just all throughout the grass. There's a, there's a bunch of it. You can kind of see like over there and stuff. And the next one I'm going to gather is this. This is called dead nettle, purple dead nettle. Uh, also very, very common in a lot of different yards. So uh, I'll collect a bunch of this too. This is regular dock. Um, we don't have a ton of it in our yard that looks very good, but I'll try to uh, harvest some of this stuff as well. Mm -hmm. So we don't have a ton of it, but I'm also going to get some of this clover. You can tell it's the white clover because it's got the little ring inside the leaves. So what I'm going to do with all of these is I'm going to actually cook them all in my kitchen and I'll spare you the boring part of that. So I'm just going to cook them all in the kitchen and I'll um, put them on plates with like uh, a raw piece, a sauteed, and a boiled piece and then Cameron and I will try them. So how many? All right. So what are we doing? <laughs> so I just cooked um, a bunch of stuff from our yard, and so um, I've boiled for three to four minutes. I've boiled each plant and I've sautéed each plant in a little bit of olive oil, but no spices, except for the clover. I didn't have a ton of clover, so I didn't boil it. So you have raw and sautéed. So each plate has a different plant. So we have dandelion dock, um, cat's ear, clover, nipplewort, and red dead nettle. So very common plants that you can eat and so what we're going to do is taste them and see what they taste like. So are the sautéed ones, do they have salt in them? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's all plain. It's plain. Really yeah. get the, the, the authentic flavor of the, the actual plant. Yeah, this is about the essence of the plant and then like if we like something then or think it could be good in a soup or whatever or a salad then we know now let's do it yeah we're gonna start with well you want you why don't you choose let's do dandelion because that's like a classic and it it's not like super good i hear because it's a little bit bitter but now, this is dandelion yeah. and this is what cat's ear so cat's ears a little bit like fuzzy they look really similar yeah and dandelions um like that flower of a dandelion is like the classic, like hollowed stemmed 
big yellow dandelion. The leaves aren't very hairy. Where the cat's ear has like the little teeny tiny yellow flowers. But oh. it looks like it looks like a dandelion. But they are very similar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. interesting. So if okay. we want to be civilized. Okay, I'm just gonna take tiny tastes. Yes. We can cut yeah. these things in half. But yeah, you can I'm yeah. just gonna take little bitty tastes. So the raw dandelion is first. It's supposed to be really bitter. I mean, it's bitter. I want to say like really bitter. It's not bad. It's not take a bigger bite. It's not gross or anything. I can taste it. Like yeah. it, I want to want to go out chowing down on it in the yard. No. But I don't think it's bad. It's like it's a little bit bitter. I yeah. could imagine it being good mixed with other stuff. Yeah. Yeah, mix in with something would be okay. If you wanted a little bit of a bitter kind of edge to it. Here's your fork if you would like. Oh, thank you. So boiled dandelion. Okay, here's the boil. <laughs> You, you can go for it. I'm just cutting up the sauteed. What do you think? I'll try the boil. Maybe with some salt. It's slightly less, slightly less bitter. I'd say it mm -hmm. tastes pretty much the same, personally. Yeah, it's I heard a little bit less bitter. I heard if you boil it longer, it's actually like um, better. Hmm. But I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. I would rather eat it boiled so far. Okay, sauteed. Yes. I really want just you, a tiny you bit. You don't want very much, do you? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna need a big piece. Hmm. Mm. Ick. Yeah. No. Ugh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the sauteed is disgusting. Okay. No. I wonder why. Did you think so too? I think it, it's either like a little bit overdone, but it just like enhances the bitter. Oh yeah, that's really gross. Okay, you can rinse your mouth out with this glass of water that I provided. Okay, what's next? Okay, so let's just uh, do the red dead nettle next here. Oh, maybe we should do this. Oh, the similar one. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Well, or do we want to like get different flavors in our mouth first? I don't know. I don't really have anything like. I feel like that may have. Yeah, we don't have palate cleansers in there. I feel like that may have ruined it for us. Okay, no, it's that fine. Really it's fine. It'll be great. So let's go ahead and just okay. try a little bit of this cat's ear. Try a tiny bit of cat's ear. It's all. It's, it's hairy. Hairy. I'd rather eat cat's ear than dandelion. Yeah, it tastes way less bitter. Yeah, it's not. I mean, the fuzz is weird, but it's not weird, weird. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's eat some of this. Boiled. Okay. Let's try a little bit of this. Boiled's good. I eat boiled. I mean, it's not like mind blowing, but with some little salt or like some other things. It's just really bland. It doesn't taste like much. Yeah. The more you get like the thicker, kind of like stemmy part, it's a little bit more bitter. Yeah. Uh, but it's not too bad. But very I'm kind palatable. of afraid of eating this sautéed one now. Sorry, you know what? <laughs> that was foul. <laughs> <laughs> also, like, Teddy was being really distracting when I was um, sautéing. Not too bad. Yeah, I think, like, cat's ear is in... Not I need, too bad. I need that. Cat's ear definitely better. Yeah. It's, like, the same but better than the dandelion. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. Okay. All right, so, what's next? Yeah, um, let's do... Okay, so now you got me all out of order. I have an appointment I have to go to soon. I know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm just telling them because I'm kind of Let's do dog. This one's supposed to be really different, so let's do... It's got hairs on it. This is part, part of those hairs. fibers. It's like part of the... Very, fiber. very fibers. Okay. This is dock. I gotta rinse my mouth. Yeah. It doesn't look as good. It's kind of sour. I mean, honestly, it tastes like a plant that's not food. <laughs> like, it tastes like you just got some random plant in the yard and picked a piece off and it's not like a food plant. Okay, okay, I know. Yeah, that's what we did. <laughs> no, but I mean, yeah. like the other one, I could admit, it's like, the dandelion is kind of similar to foods I've eaten before, I guess, but this just tastes like, plant. I don't know, it's a little bit of a dirty flavor, like a little bit like dirt, kind of, I would say. What do you... I think it tastes like, say? yeah, like a sour... Leafy plant. Mm. There's boiled. I like boiled, actually. I mean, I feel like it doesn't have much flavor. It's just kind of bland. I don't Maybe. know. It has like this little bite to it, though. Mm. Well, yeah. you, it, you can tell that you have a plant in your mouth. 
I, don't I know. think you're eating too small bites. Maybe. Maybe. Some big maybe. Okay. Bites. What about the sautéed? Okay. Sautéed. This one definitely got left it's in a little. Toughest. Long. Yeah. Crunchy. Mm. Yeah. Oh, the piece I got spicy. Yeah. That's it weird. tastes kind of spicy. Like, like hot spicy. Yeah, I That's read that. It, I read that it kind of has a weird bite to it. But the, these two ones that didn't taste hot spicy to me at all. The boiled did the a little bit when I had a big bite. Yeah. I think it's part of the, the stem. Mm. Like... Well, it's interesting. Yeah. I like the sauteed part the best, but yeah. I don't I like it boiled very or sauteed, much. Or sauteed. It's not like gross though. I wouldn't be like, oh, I'm not going <laughs> to eat that. So you're not going to starve to death and die with that. Well, you might. It's only plants. But okay, so let's do this one now. All right, remind me what this is. This is red dead nettle. Oh, snappy. And so this is nettle. a nettle. It, it's not. That's I don't dangerous. even know if it's actually a nettle, but I'll it, eat the flower. <laughs> I'm gonna eat the whole head part. That's what I did. Okay. Okay, that's gross. That is gross. <laughs> gross. <laughs> it. I mean, it tastes like you just ate a handful of lawn clippings. Yeah. <laughs> basically, like that's exactly what it tastes like to me. Okay. This one's supposed but to. Like have, we've like... all gotten grass in our mouth before, right? Like, yeah. That's what it tastes like. So. I feel like th this one has some medicinal purposes that are good. So like maybe. Maybe just for small. That's okay. Yeah. Oops, stop. Okay. Mm. So, like, it has medicinal properties that might be useful, but that one's pretty gross. The middle, the, the boiled still just tastes like grass to me. Yeah, the boiled's pretty gross too. Mm. Sauteed. The most palatable of the three, I would say, is sauteed. Yeah. And you know, it's kind of hard because all the sautéed ones get a little bit of olive oil flavor. It is and helpful. And so, it's hard to kind of distinguish some. And you wonder, like, how diff, diff, some of them might be better with different oils. Yeah. Uh, or vice versa. So, yeah, the sautéed is a little bit better. A little less like grass. Okay. Less like grass is good. Okay, so this is nipple wart. We have tons of this in our yard, and huh. it's apparently it's like really pro prolific where you have like disturbed soils and stuff. So anyway, I need like more. Mm. The lip, I just taste just a little piece. It was so mild that I hardly could it's taste it. Mild. Could hardly taste it. This could go good in a salad. Maybe totally good salad. Let's um, check what. Cut it up or I guess not. It's not too thrilling. I guess it's very because mild. it has a little flavor, you could add a lot of really like, good flavors to it. Yeah, it could go in a lot of things. It'd be really good in like a stir fry or a soup. Mm -hmm. It's just so mild, it'll just take the flavor of what's around it, it seems like. Yeah. It reminds me of spinach, but like no flavor. All that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. There's a little bit more flavor here. Yeah. It's not like bitter or anything like the dandelion. Mm -mm. Stuff like that. A little grassy, but mainly just really mild. Yeah. Yeah. Nipple work is doing pretty good here. Okay, and the last one. So I don't have boiled clover, um, but we'll eat some raw clover and some sauteed clover. I wanted to make sure that we had like enough to like get some good flavor. Mm. Kind of like eating grass again. <laughs> oh. mm. Yeah, not as strong as a flavor though. Not as strong of a flavor I feel like. Yeah. As that other one, what was it? The, this one, the the oh, red dead clover. The red dead clover. Yeah, yeah. It's like a more, it's like a more pleasant. Just lawn. like a mild grass flavor. Yeah. 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 And as far as saute goes, I'd rather eat it sauteed. I think. It's probably okay. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. I got kind of a harder grassy aftertaste on that one. It's a, it does have more of an aftertaste, actually. Yeah. I don't like the sauteed on that. Interesting. 
All in all, what's your favorite one? <laughs> I like the cat's ear, but I'm also intrigued by the dock because it's like, okay, I also like nipple wart. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Probably the nipple wart is like the most, the least offensive, at least, out of all of them. This one's the most intriguing flavor to me because it's like soury, spicy, weird. And then cat's ear is like a prolific common, I'd eat that kind of plant. That's what I would say. What about you? Uh, I can't say that I like <laughs> any of them very much, to be honest. Um, but I definitely, the, uh, is this the cat's ear? Yeah. The milder dandelion? Yeah. Like, uh, the cat's ear, I think I would say, that seems like the most potential to me in, like, food. I feel like it has, it, like, has an interesting flavor, and, like, I could imagine good stuff being made out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the others are just kind of mild to gross without okay. much interesting flavor, unless it's gross flavor, I would say. So uh, the nettle is just disgusting. Yeah, don't eat that. That's just yeah. gross. If you want to make some medicine and... stuff out of it, I'm sure you can make some like tea or something that like masks the grass lawn flavor. That's Other than the nettle, I think I yeah. wouldn't have a big problem eating any of them, but... The, uh, yeah, I mean, and, you know, if you're starving, then it's like, whatever. Yeah, that's true. But. Eat all of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so thank you for coming along with us on this journey. <laughs> um, I'm going to look for more things in our, in our yard and as the, you know, season progresses. But, uh, I just wanted to kind of like try it out. Like, why not? So now we know some things we can look out for when we're like out in the woods. Yeah. Thank you for being game to try. So Thank you. Along. Thank you. You did so, all the work. This yeah. is awesome. So anyway, we'll just uh, see you guys next time. Peace.